before I start my review, just a bit of backstory to this version. Years ago, when I was trying to hunt down every version of Phantom of the Opera I could get my hands on, I found an obscure reference to a version that I'd never seen in a program from the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. It said, and I quote, The Phantom was shabbily treated in a Spanish version, which portrayed the Phantom as a bloodthirsty villain bent on murdering chorus girls. Cool. Sounds like another horror version. I also read that this was a lost film, but I finally got my hands on a copy of this obscure 1960 Spanish version, El Fantasma de la Opereta, which stars Tintan. No, not Tintin, or even Rintintin. Tintan, whoever he is. Some Spanish star. Let's check it out. This is cheerful music for a horror film, isn't it? But let's give it a chance. Okay, is this supposed to be an opera house? Who's he? What the hell? That's right, just fall over everybody, my dear. What on earth am I watching? This is like a Jerry Lewis movie from hell. They'll be fighting it out with spritzer bottles next. Oh, right, they are. Okay, this is really what you expect from a phantom movie, right? Looks like the tantalising paragraph in that program was talking absolute rubbish. This isn't a horror movie, it's some kind of weird parody. It's like, imagine Abbott and Costello meet the Phantom of the Opera, only not funny. Really not funny. I'm probably missing a lot with this because I don't have subtitles in this version, but but I think slapstick should be able to transcend language. For a comedy film not to be funny is the worst thing possible. So what's this one all about? You've got me. I can't make head or tail of the plot. I think there's supposed to be a ghost haunting the opera house, and in this one there actually is. It's, it's a real ghost, poltergeist or whatever. Like, look at this scene. It's the only scene in the movie that approaches being funny. This is magical! How did they achieve these amazing special effects without using computer graphics? <laughs> well, look out! What was that? Apart from having to deal with the real ghost, there's also a masked phantom hanging around the star's dressing room for some reason. Check this out though, he plays the violin, so that's kind of Lou based, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure, but supposedly this phantom was burnt in a fire when the opera house burned down years ago. And obviously being burnt in a fire leaves you with book teeth! Okay... Ay ay ay! El Fantasma est horrible! Then the film takes a trip into Looney Central. There's several people running around in phantom costumes, including Tin Tam. There's a phantom with a ticking time bomb. There's a phantom who sings on the stage. I don't get what's going on. The Phantom is human, but then this happens at the end. What the hell? He just disappeared into thin air? What? Oh, I can't even review this properly because the film is so hideous, I just can't make myself sit down and watch it all the way through to try and make sense of it. Please, as justifiably obscure as this film is, don't waste your time, effort or money trying to track it down. Seriously, I've shown you all the scenes that are worth seeing. There is nothing else of value in this film. I call this worse than the Dario Argento version, which may be a bit harsh, but at least the Dario version is entertaining in its own way. It's hilarious. It's not meant to be, but it's hilarious. You can enjoy watching it. It falls into the category of so bad it's good, but this film is just bad. <sighs> I need to clear my eyes of seeing this monstrosity. Next time I'll be reviewing a much better film, I promise you. It's another foreign film, and quite obscure, and I might be pushing it a bit by calling it a phantom movie, but it's my YouTube show and I'll review whatever the hell I want. I can review Watership Down if I want to, what are you going to do about it? Next time, we'll be looking at the strange and beautiful female phantom movie.